Then we'll throw our bee on a boat. It's a big blue water we roll. Poseidon, look at me. Oh, oh, oh. K Sparks here, and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Last time was the chapter 6 interlude regarding Peach and Bowser. It was the most serious and the most hype and the most fun interlude we've had so far. The game is actually getting better as we progress, and that is always great. I'm not even going to sum it up. If you guys want to see what happened to Peach, if you guys want to see what happened to Bowser, make sure you're watching that episode before you watch this episode. Today, we're going to be going to Thousand Year Door. We're going to figure out where the seventh star, at, where Crystal Star is at, which, if I remember, is already in the hands of Grotus. So I wonder if it's going to somehow point us towards Grotus, or if it's going to point us to where the Crystal Star will be at, and then Chapter 8 will be on the moon. I really don't remember. So we're going to see what happens. If you guys enjoy yourselves, don't forget to show your boy that love. Demolish the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell to get notified of the next video. Not only Thousand Year Door, but Kirby Superstar Allies as well. Or Star Allies as well. But without further ado, Let's get started. And we're going to be starting with Luigi's re um, last regaling in uh, Rapturous Ruins. Look at that guy behind him. Like, who is he? He looks creamy. Uh, creepy. He said creamy. He does look creamy as well. Yo, that's the dude you actually put into your Starbucks. Every time people get a Starbucks, get like a hot mocha latte with all the foam on top, it's just this guy melted and fluffed up. Oh, that's dark. It's like it's like the Poplars with Futurama. You guys ever, you guys remember Poplars? You guys about down with Poplars? Yeah, let me know if you would eat Poplars. Poplars, Poplars. P-O-P-P-L-E-R-S. Anyway, well, guess what I found in Rapture's Ruins, bro? Yep, a marvelous compass piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, he says sad? Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. Yeah, let's go, Rapture's Ruins. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. After journeying deep into the Grimble Forest, I found the domed Rapture's Ruins. Inside, everything was pure white. You couldn't tell where the floor was, became walls. Proceeding dead ahead, I found myself in the chamber where a young boy sat. As I approached the boy, someone named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. I'm assuming that's Screamy behind him. Screamy said the boy's name was Cranberry and that he'd wake for a child of fate. What? That didn't make any sense to me. Me, Luigi, I'm right there with you. So, I started searching quietly for the compass piece. But then it happened, bro. I got a tiny tickle on my nose, and I let out a huge sneeze. Well, Cranberry must have heard it, because he opened his eyes right up. He looked at me and smiled, and all of a sudden, I could understand his language. Can you believe it? I learned that the boy was the last of an ancient race, the Luffs. He had been there, this is actually really interesting, I'm down. He had been there guarding the mar marvelous compass piece, for the last thousand years. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause. What? I thought this story just began. I thought this story. Alright. He told me that the compass is an item with the power to see into the future. The ancient Luff Empire used the power of the compass to rule much of the world. Because of their greed, they were cursed by the compass, and their empire collapsed. To prevent a repeat of their fate, Cranberry broke the compass into seven parts. Oh, we're getting lured. He hit six and kept one, putting himself to sleep until a worthy hero woke him. I was, uh, I was that hero, bro. He gave it to me, and then he and the ruins vanished. When I added that piece to the... So you just given the last piece. Yo, my man had his uh, um, Brock and Misty moment. They just gave it to him out of full and bad. When I added that piece to the compass... It pointed to the far north, where dreaded Hate Song Tower stands. Hate Song Tower. This time, I heard Princess Eclair's voice more clearly than ever before. I will rescue the princess. I will be super. And then I'll, 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 well, I'll figure out the rest later. <laughs> anyway, I headed back here to look for that for that. I'm making my final preparations for my ba final battle now. I'm a little nervous, bro. But that's what I've been up to anyway. Yo. Yo, I want that game now. Why couldn't it just been like some DLC? But you know what? 
he does bring up a good point. We should probably, I haven't upgraded my items, first of all. Let me come here, where, where are we at? Are we on the other side? I need to go upgrade my items. Luigi actually gave me a good idea saying that, yo, we, need, we should probably upgrade our gear. I'm probably going to see if I can find some place to buy a couple more uh, Ultra Shrooms. I just noticed that Goomba standing in the grass and it just seemed interesting. But yeah, um, there's one more thing I want to do before I just go to the Thousand Year Door. Um, and we're going to see if the Wario badge is here. And it's not. Double pay. Double the damage Mario takes. Why would I want that? Is that like imposing a hard mode on me? I don't know about that life. Unless there's a whole mode. Can we get this now? Heck yeah! Let's go! Hey! Let's go! I'm about it. We just get the Ultra Hammer now. We just get the Ultra Hammer. Alright. Hi, Toadette. It's me again. Toadette, nice to see you again. Way to find the Ultra Hammer. Now your hammer will be even more powerful. And you can also use a new hammer technique. Let's practice it right away. It's just like the Super Hammer. Oh, so it's just spinning. It's literally the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. You hit the hammer and then you spin. Come on. Oh. Marry me, Peach. Don't be rushing me. Wanna go? No, I got it. All right, you've mastered the Ultra Hammer. Oh, those blocks. Oh, I'm going to have to go back to Hotel's Castle again soon. Using your Ultra Hammer, you can even break blocks like this. Okay, so we can break all blocks now. You can use the Ultra Hammer in battle, too. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, she said, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I get to see you, Mario. Oh, is this the last power-up? Definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And and be careful in your quest, okay? Aw, she said. Aw. Aw, I feel bad. Yo, let her be let her be a partner. Yo, can Tunette be a partner? She clearly wants to be a part of the adventure. Let her be a partner. Yo, vote in the com oh, I forgot about this. Vote in the comments. Would you guys actually be down for Tourette being a partner? As a matter of fact, even better. What mush what mushroom kingdom or Mario character, I should say, what Mario character would you want to have as a partner in Thousand Year Door or any future Paper Mario game? We have seven. Hmm. Oh yeah, I definitely got power of Vivian. You can use infatuate to confuse our enemies. I don't know if I want to do use hold fast to damage direct attackers. I'll, I'll do Vivian because I actually use her for attacking, so if nothing more, I can get the power up. Uh, I'm not so big on her second attack. Shazumi! Um, but yeah, what character would you guys want as a partner? And when I say character, I mean like what, what, um, what brand? No. What race is what I'm trying to say. Like, would you want a Goomba? Would you want a Koopa? Would you want a Boo? We don't have a Boo unless we haven't unlocked one yet. I think the closest thing we have to a Boo is Vivian. Who should we power up? Should I do Miss Miles or Bobbery? To boost Mario's HP to boost it. Not heal it, but boost it. So I guess something happens during that battle. I don't know if I really need that. Dodgy fog to make Mario. Mm, all these. I'll do this because it's an attack. Pause the partner. Yes. It's an attack. I don't really use Bobbery like that. Why is my phone going off? I'm going to put that on vibrate. Sorry about y'all hearing that. I, I don't know why I kept going off. I was trying to ignore it. But it's just like, oh, we're going to keep on going off. Um... But yeah, I'll use Bobbery. I'm down for Bobbery. Mm. I love how he little... He puts his mustache up on top. Then you may go. That's it. So we have only one. I feel like I may have missed a few shine sprites. Not sure. That was a mistake. Not sure where they may be, though. But anyway, onward to the Thousand Year Door. I just remembered, since we got this now, we can break the second block. And now we can... Oh, there's a treasure chest up there as well. But yeah, we're gonna lock a few things. Let's go in and uh, bang on that and unlock that pipe. Not sure where that one's going. Uh, I'll check it out later. Actually, I should probably check it out right now. I do need that. Oh, you know what I need? You know what I need? I don't know if I have any bathroom. I don't. Um, I want to get some stuff. Luigi, I'm I don't know if I want to be dressing up as Luigi, though. I mean, I like being Mario. Anybody else like being Mario? Yeah, I wanted to see if I have Flower Saver for partners, but I don't. I need to get Flower Saver for partners. That's like... On my bucket list. What is that? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna find out where these two pipes are going. 
Let's try the one on the right. Oh God, this goes to Kill Hall K. I don't know. I never want to have to come back here again. That, mm -mm, I am good. I'm good. Okay. I don't want to go back there again. Like, the, no, do not. They're they're now the bosses of the syndicate. I was gonna say I don't want to go there because of Frankie and Francesca, but I guess if they're not there, then maybe it's go. It's good. And this one goes to Posse Heights. Not sure why I would need to go back to either of them. Right, at this point in the game, do I need to backtrack? I, I, I don't know. Oh God, what if Nintendo gives me a reason to backtrack? Hi, I'm gonna run on past you. Where am I going? Oh wait, wasn't there? Then I think about it. There was. Ooh, I remembered. I was gonna say, where was I going? I was going to Dazzy Your Door, but I ended up getting sidetracked by the block, and now we got a little secret thing. Yo, we on a boat. We on a boat, and we swimming fast, and you know we looking for crystal stars like a, like a something like a. Like a wild man, I guess that works. Like a wild man. Anybody remember that song? Never feel not be on a boat. It's a big blue water we roll. Poseidon, look at me. Oh, no. What the heck? Three shot, yo, give me. Give, all I gotta do is run through these spenders or whatever the heck they call. Die, die. That didn't take long. Because of the enemies, it just took long because there was a lot of them. Like that took like a good five minutes just knock them all out. I don't understand why. But um, we even for a new enemy. I don't know if you guys knew that. As I make it sweet, I could probably just use coops. But what's the fun in that? Defend plus. Who's more defense? But I, have, I don't even use those things. Shine sprite. Shine sprite. Shine sprite. Shine so sprite. Beautiful shine sprites come to life. Hooray! But yeah, before the new enemy, a spoonia. It was on uh, 12 HP, 2 defense, 7 attack, but it wasn't anything too special, so I didn't throw it to add it. But anyway, finally, on to the thousand year door! Started from the bottom, now we hit. Started from the bottom, now the whole team up in here. Started from the bottom, now we hit. Started from the bottom, now the whole team up in here. Yo, we looking for the crystal star. You know it has to be close, you know it's not far. Wait, did you say it's on the moon? Man, but you man, they're looking kinda soon. I'm just trying to get to my girl. You're gonna gonna I'm gonna chase her all around this whole wide world. I was trying to say if I got started. Anyway, if what this map indicates is true, the location of the final crystal star is the moon. Yeah, we saw that during the animation. You guys didn't see it, but it was on the moon. The moon! That's where Princess Peach is stuck. Yeah, remember? Seems suspicious, huh? No, well, I guess to you guys, we already know that Gordas has a crystal star. Um, we just gotta go get it from. Simultaneous the same Peach. The problem here is, how does one get to the moon? Quite a conundrum. Rocket ship? Give me a moment to look into this. Excuse me, please, this shouldn't take long. Do we really have to sit here and wait for him to like figure something out? Come on. Looking into this may take a little time, so come back in a bit, all right? Really? I must concentrate on this, so come back after about three. Are you kidding me? I mean, I hope to have a timer right here, but seriously? Seriously, I have to wait three minutes? Nintendo, that's not cool. I figured this is something we could do. Ratman is back. Ah, ah, Mario, it's me, Lumpy. Don't you remember? I went to dry, dry desert to drill for oil. Ring a bell? Yeah, I gave you money. You never gave it back. I, I, my, why my man's eye look like a whoopee? I did it. I totally struck oil. Congrats. Where's my money? There were times that I had covered, I was covered in dust, weak and ready to give up. But, but, but I never lost sight of the dream. And one day I finally seized it. And you believed in me all this time, Mario. I did not. I didn't know. I want my money. I, congrats on your oil. Just give me my money back. I want to return your loan with a little more than just to show my, just to show my appreciation. Please take this. Six hundred coins. Can I fit that? I can. Hey! Good thing I spent that money earlier. Thanks for everything. And now you have some capital to start your own venture. Just don't let your dream die, Mario. I know you're making some deals like I did. Yo, we are rich! 933! Y'all, I'm buying all the Ultra Shrooms. See me, it's time. 
Like, what, what should we do with it? What, what should we do with our, uh, our money? Is there anything that I should invest in, guys? I don't really know the game that well. So, by all means, let me know in the comments. Like, what should we do? Is we have enough time? I think we're just over three minutes. So, yeah, we can go actually. I was going to go buy some bad. You know what? Actually, before we go talk to Frankly, I'm going to go underground. And I am going to go see if we can buy some badges. Yo, I got these pieces, though. Yo, Dazzle, I get it, because you dazzled. Happy Flower, meh. Do I have Happy Flower? I wish it showed me how many amounts I do have of these things. Um, Flower Saver P, they do have it, but it's 10. Mm, I want it. Oh, I want it. Peekaboo, make enemy. I just tap on it real quick, and I'm good in the same way. Um, Heart Finder, don't need that. I would love either Happy Heart um, I was the happy flower, excuse me, not happy heart. I'm going with happy flower. Uh, happy heart. But I want happy flower or I want flower saver pea. I think I want flower saver pea, but I need to get four more star pieces. And I don't know where any of her are at. Well, rip that dream. All right. Yo, frankly, give us a heads up. Ah, excellent timing. I finally have it, Mario. I found a way that might just get you to the moon. You must go to Far Outpost and you must use the cannon there. And it will blast you. A cannon to take me to the moon. You mean to tell me that with all this entire world, we don't have any rockets to just go to space? Whoa! We're using a cannon to blast ourselves to the moon? Yeah! Extreme! <laughs> I know how it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure about the details. That's in no logic. Accounts from Far Outpost speak of a device that can launch anywhere, at anything, anywhere. Even to the moon. Far outpost. This is gonna be so cool! Just point the way! Where is this far outpost? I believe there's a pipe to far outpost somewhere beneath Roadboard. Some yay. Yay for vague locations. But I'm not sure of the exact location. Yes, I believe it was hidden for some reason. If my information is correct, you need something called an ultra hammer to get it. I've already gotten it. An ultra hammer? Hey, right on! We already got one of those! I did! Ah, well, I see. That certainly changes the subject now, doesn't it? Well, use that Ultra Hammer to find the pipe to Far Outpost then. Get to it! Yeah, you got it, Prof! Far Outpost! Charge! That's it? Oh, yes. One more thing you should be aware of. Thank you. The bob who live there are sort of a surly bunch. They may not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. In any case, that's your problem. <laughs> that's your problem. Good luck. Get that last crystal star. That's it. That's what we're left with. If you've got no dream, then use it to find a pipe in the file. I'll post last. Okay, so we need to find a stone block in the underground in order to get to Far Outpost. We're going to leave that little adventure for next time. All we gotta do is find a stone block, right? It shouldn't be that bad. Hopefully, chapter seven begins in the next episode. We'll find you guys will know if the intro is chapter seven. Then you know chapter seven is gonna begin in that episode. Y'all see that? If you guys enjoyed yourself, let me know. Demolish the like button for me. Make sure y'all subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure that you ring that bell to get notified of the next video. Also, because YouTube freaking sucks, even if you um, ring the bell, just follow me on Twitter. All videos I upload, anything I do, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Twitch, whether it's on Instagram, filters through the Twitter. And I have direct control over that. I will always tweet out when a new video is going live. I will always tweet out when I'm going to be somewhere live streaming, holding a meetup, etc. I will always post new pictures from Instagram, filtering that through my Twitter as well. It is the one place that is actually reliable on all of these social media platforms. The one place that is reliable so you can get your content and get updates on all things PK. Follow my Twitter, Twitter um, link in the description below. But for now, it's time for me to dip. Stay hot, guys, and I'll see y'all next time.